Is your taskbar missing? I'm Leo Notenboom from AskLeo.com and I want to go through a couple of things that can make it appear as if the taskbar is missing, a couple of things that can actually make it easy to get it back when it is, and a couple of things to do if in fact there is a problem with your system and the software that displays the task manager or task bar is not running. So we'll start with the system you see in front of me here. I have no taskbar, but it's hidden. So if I mouse down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it automatically pops up. That's a setting. You can control that yourself by right-clicking on the taskbar, an empty area in the taskbar, making sure that it's unlocked, and then clicking on Properties. In there is a setting called Auto Hide the Taskbar. You can uncheck that and the taskbar will remain visible at all times. Otherwise, leave it checked and simply know that the taskbar has been hidden down below to get out of your way and give you more screen real estate for whatever else it is you're doing. Another way you can get the taskbar back in a situation like that is to type Control plus Escape. That brings up the Start menu and, as a side effect, also the, the taskbar. Now all of this is on a working system. In other words, these things that we've seen so far are normal Windows behavior controlled by settings and or keystrokes. What if, for some reason, when you type Control Escape, nothing happens? There's no Explorer.exe running. Explorer.exe is the software, it's the program that actually displays the taskbar on your machine. In a case like this, the first thing to try is to type Control alt delete What that will do is bring your machine to this screen where you get to choose whether or not you want to lock or shut down or whatever. What we're going to do is start the task manager. The task manager will actually allow us to do something interesting, and that is click on New Task and actually try and run Explorer.exe. When you do so, if the taskbar comes back, then that was the problem. For whatever reason, Explorer.exe wasn't running. Now, if when you run Explorer.exe this way, you get Windows Explorer, like I do here, that means that Windows Explorer was in fact already running. Explorer.exe was already running. That means there's something else going on with your system. Now we need to get a little bit fancier. The thing I'm going to have you do is right-click on your desktop and create a new shortcut. The shortcut we're going to create is to CMD. That's the command prompt. Now, the reason I'm creating a shortcut for this is because I need to be able to run the next thing to try as administrator. So we right-click on command.exe shortcut and click on Run as Administrator. You should get the UAC prompt saying yes, are you sure? And eventually a copy of the Windows command prompt, this time with administrative privileges. The tool we want to run is the system file checker, SFC space and then slash scan now, all one word. What that will do is it will actually compare all of the system files against what it believes all of the system files should be. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time because it's going to verify a number of different files throughout the system. One of the files that it is going to verify is in fact Explorer.exe. If it finds a problem, it will attempt to repair the situation by grabbing a fresh copy of Explorer.exe possibly from your uh, um, system restore folder, possibly from your restore partition, or it may ask for installation media for Windows. In other words, it's going to need your original DVDs from which you had installed Windows. In any case, it's going to try and repair anything that it finds in need of repair, and hopefully that will include Windows Explorer. Now, if System File Checker was unable to find a problem or unable to fix a problem, and you still cannot type Control Escape to get Windows Explorer to show you the taskbar, then I'm afraid we're kind of in a tough spot. 
The only two solutions that I'm aware of at this point are to perform a repair install of Windows, which will hopefully reinstall Windows, reset the settings that need to be set for Explorer to run without destroying your data, or to do a complete reformat and reinstall of Windows from scratch. That last one's kind of painful. I actually kind of lied because there is one other way to solve this problem if you've prepared for it beforehand. And that is to restore your machine to an image backup that was taken prior to this problem having happened. If you don't have an image backup, then I'm afraid we're back to being out of luck. But if you do have an image backup, then it can be that simple. It might be worth considering adding image backups to your future plans. I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com.